Welcome to the Mentor Podcast, where the most highly motivated entrepreneurs come to get their weekly dose of financial stability with host Ron LeGrand, as well as other nationally recognized thought leaders who will teach you how to get, grow, and protect your wealth. Hi, Ron. This is Lewis from Miami. How are you? Lewis from Miami. What can I do for you, sir? So here's my question. I currently own an investment rental property uh-huh. with existing tenants. Do you think I, that should be converted to a lease option or owner financing? And yeah. what would be the Is most comfortable way to do that? It's a townhouse. Okay, yes. I will not rent a house. The only thing I'm going to do with a house is put a lease option tenant buyer in there. What's the worth? Uh, about 450 Wow. Okay. Man, you, you, you screwed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I just learned about you. Uh, well, I, did, I had this house about uh, five years ago. Uh-huh. And I just learned about, you know, all this uh, the last two or three months or so. Okay. What do you owe on this thing? Uh, 260 Oh, man. All right. Here's what you should do. Okay. Now, this is just my advice. You know, it's worth mm-hmm. what you paid for it, which is nothing. But keep in mind, <laughs> I'm, I'm the guy that's been at this for 37 years. So uh, here's what I'd do. First thing I'd do is I'd go over to my tenant and find out if they have interest in buying. Yep. And if, if they do... Find out if they could, if uh, what they got to work with. For example, uh, how much they can, how much of an, an, a non-refundable option deposit can they give me if I give them an option to buy? Mm-hmm. And then, if you like the number, you go ahead and take it and give them the option to buy, which also means they are responsible for all the repairs. Right. And then you, you decide the term. Pardon me. Over lease option over owner financing. Uh, you do not want to do owner financing. I'll get to that in a minute. Okay. Gotcha. Go for it. Now here's the good part. Let's say you sell this thing to them for four fifty nine nine on a lease purchase. If the, I don't know about your tenant in there, you got it right now. But if I were putting that out on the market, I wouldn't take a dime less than forty thousand dollars as a non refundable option deposit. Okay. So you see, that's what you missed when you put that tenant buyer in there. You didn't. You didn't get that big front end payday. Plus, remember, after the first thirty days, all the repairs go to them. It's built into the option agreement. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. also huge. No calls to unplugged toilets. So yep. now you take their upfront deposit, and you uh, then you work out the monthly payment, which means, by the way, keep your mouth shut and ask them what's the most you can pay per month if I accept you. And then when they give you a number, your, your answer, gee, is that the best you can do? Okay. And you get that monthly payment up, uh, so you have a really nice monthly cash flow. What's your payment on your underlying loan? 2500 okay. okay. What do you think that place – what are you getting for rent right now? Well, it's got a – it's actually got a uh, in-law quarters that I rent out separately, so I'm getting about uh, 3300 for it. Okay. That sounds cheap, is it? Is it cheap for what I'm supposed to be getting yeah. for it? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. what I'd do is I'd, uh, I'd rent out, I'd lease option the whole property to uh, one uh, family and let them worry about the in-law thing. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Asking but, the current tenants if they want to take over and yeah. they get the investment money from the, the in-law quarters. Okay. So... At the very least, that thing ought to be worth uh, thirty-five, thirty-six hundred dollars a month. So there's a thousand dollar a month positive cash flow for you with no repairs to do. Now, remember, their price is four fifty-nine. Mm-hmm. However long you're going to give them, they don't get debt pay down. Their price is four fifty-nine today or a year from now. However, every time you pay your underlying mortgage payment, you're getting debt pay down. So you're getting a thousand dollar a month positive cash flow. You're building more equity. You're not doing any repairs, and you already got $40,000 in the bank. When you get that $40,000, it is your money. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You're not a realtor. You don't have to put it in an escrow account, and you do not have to bring it to closing. At closing, they just simply get a credit for that 40 toward their down payment. So you can go do whatever you want to do with that money. And now, here's the good part. If they don't buy, and frankly, most of them don't, and they move, it's non-refundable. They do not get it back. So you go do mm-hmm. it again. I, to do it all over again. I got one house that I'm on my sixth tenant buyer. Wow. Sixth. And, and, and don't convince yourself because they give you forty or $50,000 mm-hmm. down that they're absolutely uh, certain going to buy. Uh, first mistake, quit making assumptions and quit asking why. Uh, it's all kinds of reasons people don't yeah. buy. Now, they intend to buy, but, you know, things go wrong, divorces and illness and transfers and all that stuff, and they can't buy. Right. So now you've totally changed your business. You're out of the rental business, and you're into the lease purchase business, and you've got a whole totally different client, whole different mindset, a whole different type of person. Mm-hmm. And you'll love that when you make that switch. Did you mention how many years I should give them? 
Well, uh, that's not how it works. We don't name numbers like that. We let the other side tell us what they'll do. So, I, okay. by the way, do you want to give them more years or less years? Well, if I give them more years, I'm going to get benefit more from the pay down. Well, golly, aren't you astute tonight? <laughs> not, not to mention you're going to get $1,000 a month, give or take, monthly cash flow. Though really the last That's thing you right. want them to do is buy, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Now, okay, I granted you're leaving a couple hundred thousand dollars equity in that property, but so what? Mm -hmm. right, so the worst can happen is they do buy and you get a check and it's long-term capital gains. Or you could exchange the property and not have to pay any taxes. Right, right. So I don't know yeah. if it's going to work out with your current tenant or not, but um, if it doesn't, um, if you choose to, I'd give them a 30-day notice to move. And, um, and, and, uh, yeah, and yeah, they're, they're on their second. Yeah, they're going on their third year, and, I, and they've expressed interest in buying it. Well, good. Time. But now the question yeah. is, do they have any money? That's a good question. Well, if they they've got been money, made on their rent, so that's, okay, that's a good start. And you, and you be careful now. Don't you tell them how much you need down. Okay. All right. Okay. Ye who speak first have tennis shoe in thy mouth. Okay. You're telling, you're asking them if I give you the option to buy this thing, what is the most you can put down? Followed okay. by, really, is that the best you can do? <laughs> okay. okay. By the way, you're in tax season now. See if they got any tax refunds coming. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. Boy, aren't you glad you got on this call tonight? Thank you, Ron. Thanks for your advice. All right. Better get into my boot camp, man. Learn this business. Too good. Actually, I'm I'm going in July. July. Okay. Where's that at? In uh, Orlando. I ain't want to wait till July for. I'm going to Vegas next week. Get into Vegas. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to be in Vegas in two weeks but for business, so I won't be able to spend time doing that. Oh, I'm only there four days. It's next week. Starts yeah. on the, whatever yeah. it is. It starts on the 17th. Yeah, um, besides, I'm going to be on to July 1 with my brother, who's actually my business partner, so we're right. going to do this together. I'll uh, see you then. Right. It, pro it probably ain't going to cost you more than, I don't know, 100000 or so between now and July that you're going to lose. Don't worry about it. No big deal. That's probably true, but you know. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Hey, this is Lenny from California. Are you listening? I am listening. Go ahead. Hey, Ron, this is Lenny Murani from California. I've been following you for 15 years. I've well, been doing everything that you show me. Quick question about the $99 recording. Is that recording from last two weeks on March 9th in Los Angeles with the no, Steve Law? No, but no? it's the same seminar. I did it here a couple of months ago in Jacksonville. Okay, I need the letter from to the seller to change his mind about terms. Um, the well, latest then, script. Okay, I'm going to get that ninety-nine dollars right now. Or could you repeat the order? Uh, could you repeat the the website? Yeah, RonLegrand.com. You think you can remember that? Yeah, I am writing For, down. Go ahead. Forward slash GC99. Go Club 99. Okay. Oh, Gold Club, GC. That's why yeah. I wasn't sure. Okay, I'm going to GC. get it right now. Do that. And by the way, for all you yep. guys that are listening that have been to the Fast Track, uh, this is your chance to get it so you can constantly review it. Uh, you, and, yep. And That's what should. I've been doing for the last 15 years, man. That's why I've been, I, I have done more than 500 deals following you. <laughs> get out of here. You've done this 500 deals? Really. Okay. Yeah. 15 years. Did, did That's you a long time. Did you send me a testimonial letter? I like to keep a low profile. Uh, baloney. Do you remember where I told you it was federal law? You have to send me a letter? Oh, my God. Okay, I you, will do it. I will do it once. You owe it <laughs> Only to me. Once. All right. And, only and that's once. What, okay, only once. That, and I want it in it now. I've been at this 15 years with you. About okay, bro. I, I, I will right. see you in Las Vegas next year also for the summit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, man. Take care. Bye. Thank you for your 15 years, too. I was just kidding you. All right, Hello, Nick. Ron. Hey. This is Glenn Miller. Glenn Not the Miller. Glenn Miller. Yes, uh, this is Glenn Miller in Texas. Okay, Glenn Miller. You've been fighting that one all your whole life, haven't you? So if I, I had a dollar for every time somebody yeah, said something, I'd be retired by now. I, I wasn't going to say it until you brought it up. I know, but that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. I'm a Gold Club member and proud to be. I'm mm -hmm. fairly new to your program, and... I'm ashamed to say I've been doing playing with owner financing for the last 20 years, mm -hmm. and you have taught me that I'm doing it wrong, and I've well, adhered to man. what you said. Mm -hmm. Now, my, I got a unique situation. A friend of mine, before he passed away, he owner financed a house to me, zero right. down, low interest, okay. and I make a monthly payment to his widow now, 
Uh-huh. But I was making it to him. Well, he now has his other home after he has passed away. His widow now wants to sell that home as well. Okay. Uh, she wanted 165. I convinced her for 120. Okay. She has underlying debt of approximately 90, about 89.5. I agreed to take over her debt, mm-hmm. and I agreed to total price for the house of 120. Mm-hmm. Did I do wrong by saying I'll give her 30,000 when I close on this? Yeah, but it ain't like you got a bad. I gave up equity. Well, but the house open, will sell. You did. I think I can get. Well, you shouldn't have. I would have. Oh, no, 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 no. I asked her that magic question: What's the lease you'll take? And she, yeah. we agreed yeah. on 120. I got that. And uh, but you're the but, one that offered her 30,000 when you close. Right, and oh. I, I did make that mistake. And tennis mm-hmm. shoe does not taste good. That's right. <laughs> okay, what's well, your own fault? But, However, but that doesn't mean you can't change I it. I get out of this still making a, a profit, I think. Well, I understand, I, I, but you, you listen to me now without interrupting. You can also fix it before you close. Just go back to her and tell her you can't put $30,000 down now and ask her what's the, you know, what, what's the least she can get by with now that you poisoned her brain and get her down to maybe $5,000 and she'll take it. I mean, what else are you going to do? Oh, no, I, I don't have to put anything down. You just said you got to put up thirty thousand dollars when you close. When I close it to a seller, when oh, I sell you, it. No, you mean when they cash you out. When I cash out, yes. All right. Well, that's nothing more than doing a wraparound deed of trust and putting a balloon in it. I mean, uh, right. Because when you when you sell it and cash out, well, you don't even need a balloon. Just make no, it long, because I'm going to pay her debt off. All right. Yeah, well, that's gonna, no, you're not going to pay her debt off till you till you sell it and cash out of it. Right, right, right. All right. But my right. question is, should I let her state how long we take to cash out? No. Do you know how long her should underlying I? loan is? Um, I believe it's 15 years left. She just got done refinancing it before her right. husband passed away. What's, what's the payment? About 865, I believe. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. So you already got a low payment. If I were you, I would not mess with it. Because what do you think you're going to get out of this thing when you sell it with owner financing? I think easily in the area that it's in, 15. So you got a five hundred dollars dollar a month cash flow forever. Uh, but oh, do yeah. not open your mouth and name a term with her. So find out. How, uh, tell, uh, here, here's what I do. And I don't know if I can do this on the phone, but here's what I'll teach in class. Uh, listen, I'm going to structure this so that I'm going to make uh, I'm going to keep making you a monthly payment until your underlying loan is paid off and then after that I will keep making you the same payment until your $30,000 is paid off. I like the sounds of that. Okay, you don't even need to know how long that is. Let somebody else figure out the term. <laughs> well, see one of her one of her problems is she's on social security. Uh-huh. And I think she's trying to get into an assisted living. Oh. So, okay. Well then it's better off for her if you just give her ten grand, take over her debt, and let her go. I'll try that. Well, then and she's got no more incoming note, so there's nothing the assisted living going to get. Exactly. Exactly. Now, is she, is she the one collecting the payments on the other first house you bought? Yes. Okay. Well, boy, it's a, great, it's a great time to discount that note, man. Well, I think I think I can actually cash out on this note and make a big profit on it, and because I've already got no, control no. of the house. No, 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 no. You're paying her on a note, right? Yes, I'm paying her $630 a month. Okay, I got it. How much do you owe her? Um, I got the house for $85,000, mm-hmm. and, and um, I'm going on my second year on the note okay. at 4% interest. Okay, so you owe her seventy five grand at least? At least, yeah. And does she have any underlying debt? Not on this house. No, this one here is owned free well, and clear. Are you, you going to listen to me now? Yes, I, sir promise you she'd take forty thousand dollars cash for that debt right now wow and and then if if you go borrow that on a private loan and you just made 70 uh, 35 grand because you were on this call tonight yes uh thank you and i'm that's that's less my commission of course yes (laughs) yes sir (laughs) well i am anticipating going to see you in houston in november yeah well that's a long ways off this deal should be done by then that's the oh, these reason. both I like, deals. I, like, I love dealing with sellers, man. We can change the deal anytime we want. And look, she's getting forty grand cash now, which is worth way more to her than six hundred some odd dollars a month for a lot of years to come, especially if she's going in a nursing home. So she, yeah, yeah. And then, 
does she have kids? Yes. Okay. Well, she really needs to get this money out of her name, and she needs to get these houses out of her name right away. I mean, El Pronto. Right. She, you, you, she should have a conversation with her attorney about how best to handle this, or somebody can advise her, because if she puts this money in her bank account and they know it's there, they're just going to take it. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, well, that can easily be leveraged with a little bit of creative juices. So if you can get this one down to forty grand and pay her ten grand and buy her other house, take over that debt, um, I mean, you just uh, did her a big favor, actually, and uh, created good deals for yourself. So she'd walk away with fifty grand, and she's out of my life. Yep, and you're I out of her you, life. Ron. Yep, and I'm out okay. of her life. Yes. All right. <laughs> I mean, she All is right. a good friend of mine. Okay. Her and her husband both. But thank well. you for your thing, and I' looking forward to uh, seeing you soon at one of your. Uh, all right. Seminars. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. Thank you, Ron. Well, Bye-bye. Ron, this is Lewis again. Uh, okay. You had answered the question so well that uh, uh, you also said that you were going to let me know why not to do owner financing. Oh, okay. Well, here's let's, – let's consider it. Number one, if you sell a house with owner financing, uh, you no longer own it. So uh, how long have you owned the house now? Five years. Okay, well, you'll still be in long-term capital gains, uh, but it'll be stretched out over a long time where you, where you pay the profit as you receive the payments. But you will get no more depreciation, and you will get no more appreciation. You will have, uh, well, you, you, I guess if they default, you can get it back and do it again, but uh, honestly, they're going to fall a lot easier on a lease option than they are if they, if they actually own it. Plus, I can evict them. It's a whole lot cheaper than foreclosing them. Uh, so you give up all the real value of owning the real estate just to sell with owner financing. You don't get anything that you don't have with a lease purchase because on proper lease purchase, they're responsible for the repairs themselves anyway. So, you mm -hmm. know, what do you accomplish? You still got to right. collect taxes and insurance and forward it to the proper places or get a company like escrow serve to collect it and pay them for you. But uh, on a lease purchase, you you get the same thing unless there's an escrow account and then it just passes through. So uh, just remember, you sell it with owner financing, you've got nothing but an incoming note and mm -hmm. lose all the other benefits. And depreciation alone should be a pretty good chunk for you. So in my case, a lease option would mean that I don't give them the, the money from the tenants that are in the, the smaller place, or the uh, in-law quarters. No, you could lease option the main house and leave the last tenant back there uh, intact. Uh, right. Or if the front, ten if the your uh, master tenant, uh, you know, has a problem with that, well, then uh, you can either say, well, uh, you can give a notice, or I'll give a notice, whichever you prefer. After you give me your non-refundable deposit, and I hand you the keys. Mm -hmm. So you could agree to handle the tenant in the back till uh, till they were out. But I bet you they won't want them out. I bet you they'll rather have the income to apply toward that monthly payment. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's All right. Good. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, everybody, I thank you for tuning in tonight. I'm going to give you one more shot at my $99 all-day fast-track to wealth workshop. I'm telling you, you better get this because it's going to come down in 24 hours. Uh, go to ronlegrand.com forward slash GC99, Gold Club 99, and order this thing. And you'll get the digital link tomorrow, and uh, plus a whole plethora of other goodies that I'm going to give you to come along with it. By the way, you have 30 days. You don't like it? Just tell us. When's the last time you ever had anybody give you a guarantee on a digital product? I might add. So you know, you order it. We trust you. But if you don't like it, just tell us. All right. Good night, and thank you for being uh, Gold Club members. So see you soon. That's all for this edition of the Mentor Podcast. To connect with Ron and learn how you can attain financial freedom, as well as up-to-date strategies to grow and protect your wealth, based on today's discussion, go to www.connectwiththementor.com.